this is a lesson on equations involving addition and subtraction. So we're sort of switching gears here a little bit into um, solving problems using equations. And so what it says is equations show that two things are equal. This means that everything on one side of the equation must have the same amount as on the other side of the equation. And then I have a bunch of examples. So we go um, pretty simple here. So 20 is equal to 20. So that's saying that we have equal amounts on either side. And this is going to be this, the concept throughout this entire um, lesson. It's just going to get a little more complex than this. So um, another one is 5 plus 15 equals 20. Because 5 plus 15, well, that equals 20. So um, either side of the equation is equal. We've got 1 plus 19. That equals 20, so they, they, there's equal on that side of the equation. And then we can even get into multiplication, which we'll be getting into more um, in the next lesson. But just as an example and a look ahead, uh, 4 times 5, that also is equal um, on that side because we have 20. So you'll no notice that all of them are 20 on um, the right side of the equation. It's just that on the left side changes, but it's always going to equal 20 as long as the equation is true. So um, it says we can use this knowledge to help us figure out an equation if we do not know one of the numbers using two methods. So you can either draw pictures or use counters, or you can use guess and check. Now I'm going to guess that you are going to like one of them more than the other, but it's going to be different for different people, so we're going to look at both of them. Now, this one says, whoops, let's look at this problem. It says, together, Ducky and Harmony have 11 dog toys. Ducky has six of the toys. How many toys does Harmony have? Now, you could probably solve this in your head or using your fingers, but the important part is that we use the methods that we have here. Because although it's easy enough that you might not have to do an equation, um, you need to build the foundation to be able to create an equation so that when you get into higher grades, you're able to do that and figure out much harder problems. So. This one says use counters or pictures to help you solve the question. So, um, so many options. Okay, so um, we'll put Ducky and then we will put Harmony. Okay, and we have six toys um, for Ducky and we want to know how many Harmony has. So all we need to do is um, draw six toys for Ducky and then count up until we get to 11 for Harmony. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are Ducky's toys. Now we need to get to 11 though. So we've got six there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, 11. Well, we can see right there that Harmony must have one, two, three, four, five. Five dog toys. Okay? Now, if I was going to write this as an equation, I could write six. Oh, that's probably too light for you to see on the video there. Six plus five equals 11. And that's how you would solve that. So um, that's one way, is drawing a picture. Um, that's probably the way that I like more um, when it comes to more difficult problems. And, woo! Things are happening. There we go. Next one is use guess and test to solve the equation. So in guess, guess and test, um, you just think of a number that you think might be close to 50, to, if you add to 34, would be close to 52. So maybe I'm thinking, um, 
use a proper color here. Maybe I'm thinking that 34 maybe plus 10 equals 52. Well, let's check it out and see. So 34 plus 10, well, that's 44. So that does not equal 52. That means I need to add more to 10. I need to make my number that I'm adding bigger. So maybe I try, uh, maybe I try 20 this time. Okay, well let's try it out. We've got 34 plus 20, so 3 plus 2 is 5. 54 equals 52. Ah, no, those don't equal, but I know that this is only 2 bigger. So that means that 20 um, is only 2 off and it's too, too big, so I'm going to make it 18. Let's try it. We've got 34 plus 18 equals 52. Whoops, that's 30. I don't know what I'm doing here. 34, there we go. So maybe I have to write one on top of the other because it gets tricky when it gets into numbers like this. Um, 8 plus 4 is 12, 3, 4, 5, 52. So that means that my answer is um, 18 in that blank. It was 18. And I used guess and test to try it out. Now some of you are going to get frustrated with this one because you like to just know the answer instantly. And I'm going to tell you a secret. When I have um, a number right here, um, I could subtract it from 52 to find 18. Now it doesn't always work if, if uh, we're doing subtraction, it changes it a little bit, but when it's adding, you can just subtract whatever number's on this side from the answer and you'll get, and you'll get the blank. So that's a little, a little secret for you, okay? Um, oh, I guess I did my guess and test all in one spot. I should have wrote all of this in here, but oh well. Um, your textbook assignment is on page 20 to 21, and it is, I don't know what the numbers are. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot to write it in there before uh, you did. Okay, so it's uh, numbers 1 to 5, and that's it. All right, so... Thanks for watching.